I think for one second you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. The following second you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jar head? They say keep your friends close, but your enemy closer. But this is something else. They also say desperate times call for desperate measures. Many people died here. Have your people always been like this? You have no clue about our history. I call it like I see it. Typical. History is a foreign concept to you Americans. If it doesn't make you look good, it's buried. I get all the history I need from cable TV. Well, you see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you, you're messing with me. Uh, maybe you're just as ignorant as I am. That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah. It's beginning to look like that. Go ahead.
What's the first thing you're gonna do when we get out of here? Hold my son. How about you? What'll you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. Nine p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. You seem like you got your head screwed on, so I gotta ask. What the hell made you sign up with Saddam? What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. Listen, there was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. Yeah. <sighs> 
I say we get the fuck out of here. Looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60-year-old explosive in your back, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Do you want to hear a joke? Nope. First of January, 1947, 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. Cabinets. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left.
see how you want to talk. I was wrong to judge you. You're all right. Most people are good. You just have to realize that before they're gone. Place is Jack in the Box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fire it up. You crazy? If those vampires come from anywhere down there, you really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Rachel found her way back to the light, but the darkness reclaimed her. The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. Poor Eric, he won't win her back now. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the Abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet, unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line or to bury what remains of them under it. Smells fried. We're in hillbilly territory. What were we expecting? Cantaloupe caviar. 
not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> I recall a certain somebody saying that she wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. What is it? The guy who served me. I, I don't know. He was, he was looking at me pretty strange. Yeah, he probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often. Especially when he's showered. <laughs> uh, he was saying some weird shit. Such as? It's nothing we should go. No, come on, tell me. He said I'll never again be as happy as I am now. What the hell's that mean? You don't believe me, do you? Of course not. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. Doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See? I told you. Next time, all you have to do is whistle, and I'll come running to defend your honor. Oh, like my very own loyal puppy dog. Semper Fi. He means always loyal. I'm more than capable of looking after myself. Now get your feet off my dash, you hillbilly.
Jason. I'll find you, buddy. I've seen some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them, or...? Don't need to be a smart ass. Just move. <laughs> 